mag-start ng YouTube channel o kaya naman nahihirapan sa requirements ni YouTube. This is your sign. What's up, what's up, what's up, man <laughs> Dara, welcome and welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I am going to share with you tips on how to start and grow your YouTube channel. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do subscribe to my channel through that little button on the right side of your screen. Please click it and don't forget to turn on the notification bell. Before anything else, I just want to say thank you to Sir Echo Luis, my mentor from Neapolitan Model Management. He was the one who taught us most of the knowledge and tips about monetization and other things about YouTube. I am super thankful to have a mentor like Sir Echo kasi sobrang willing niya na tulungan kami na mag-grow yung YouTube channel namin. So, Sir Echo, thank you very much. Aww. With that, I just want to share with you guys the things that I have learned from Sir Echo. So, sana itong mga tips na to makatulong din sa inyo. And hopefully, after this, if you want to start your YouTube channel, this is your sign. So, let's start with the basics muna for those people na hindi pa nakakapag-start ng YouTube channel nila. So, una, gagawin nyo is mag-log in sa Gmail and then you log into a YouTube channel and then you set your profile picture, your channel banner, and most importantly, you edit your so, intro. What's up, what's up, man, no. When it comes to intro, mas maganda na yung intro nyo is 30 seconds or less para hindi ma-board yung mga viewers nyo at hindi sila mag-exit sa mga videos nyo. Also, when it comes to intro, you plan a unique and creative intro because that is how your viewers will be reminded of you. When it comes to equipment, hindi nyo kailangan kailangan ng mamahaling camera, mamahaling microphone para makapag-start ng YouTube channel. If you have your phones, your phones will do. Pwede nyo gamitin yung phones nyo para mag-edit, mag-film. You can explore editing apps sa App Store or kaya sa Play Store. Kasi ako, nung nagsisimula pa lang ako mag-YouTube channel, ever since hindi talaga ako gumamit ng camera, DSLR, or anything like that. Kasi wala akong laptop na paggagamitan for editing. So, nung nag-start ako mag-YouTube channel, yung ginagamit ko for filming, editing, is yung phone ko lang. Kaya sa mga taong nag-worry na walang camera, walang microphone, walang pang-edit na laptop, your phones will do maraming editing apps sa App Store or sa Play Store na pwede nyong gamitin. Para sa akin guys, lack of equipments is never a hindrance para mag-start ng YouTube channel kung gusto nyo talaga so, if you have your phones, that's okay. You can use your phone kasi ako, cellphone lang din gamit ko. So, huwag kayong mag-alala. So, ngayong quarantine period, since marami tayong time na mag-edit, marami tayong time mag-film ng kung ano-anong bagay, more people are entering the YouTube world. So, for people who are planning to create their YouTube channel ngayong 2020, kailangan nating malaman yung mga requirements or qualifications ni YouTube para ma-monetize yung channel nyo. So, ano nga ba yung mga requirements or qualifications ni YouTube para ma-monetize ang channel nyo? So, noong 2018, iba ata yung mga requirements ni YouTube para ma-monetize yung channel nyo. Pero, noong 2019, meron na tayong dalawang requirements na nire-require ni YouTube para ma-monetize yung channel nyo. So, yung dalawang requirements na yun is, una, kailangan nyo magkaroon ng 1,000 subscribers. And pangalawa, kailangan nyo ma-reach yung 4,000 watch hours na nire-require ni YouTube. So, yung 4,000 watch hours na yun is within 12 months. So, 1 year yung nire-require ni YouTube na 4,000 watch hours. Don't forget, watch hours, hindi watch minutes. So, kapag na-reach nyo na yung 1,000 subscribers and yung 4,000 watch hours threshold na nire-require ni YouTube, mamamonetize na yung channel nyo and magkakaroon na ng ads yung mga videos nyo. So, paano nga ba natin ma-reach yung 4,000 watch hours and 1,000 subscribers ng mabilis? So, I will be giving you tips on how to start and grow your YouTube channel. So, sana makatulong tong mga tips na ibibigay ko sa inyo. So, tip number one is to plan your videos or your content. Kailangan natin planuhin yung videos or yung content na i-upload mo sa YouTube channel mo. It is very important na meron tayong planned videos para mas maging organized yung YouTube channel mo. Hindi kasi pwedeng memo or random videos lang yung i-upload mo, lalong-lalo na kung gusto mong ma-monetize yung YouTube channel mo. So, kailangan natin planuhin kung ano nga ba yung mga videos na gusto mong i-upload. 
when planning your videos, I really suggest that you write down notes if possible kasi malaking tulong talaga yun for you. You write down your ideas, your thoughts, yung mga keywords na gusto mo for your content. So for people who are just starting their YouTube channel, I really suggest that you plan whether your videos are going to be about lifestyle, fashion, makeup, workout, or travel videos, things like that. So through this technique, right from the start, you will be able to know what content to focus on. Kung meron na kayo specific na team for your YouTube channel, mas magiging madali na para sa inyo na mag-isip ng mga content ideas for your YouTube channel kasi meron na kayo specific na team to focus on. So, very important yon na meron kayo specific team for your YouTube channel para hindi na kayo mahirapang mag-isip kung ano nga ba yung mga susunod na videos na i-upload mo sa YouTube channel mo. Pero, okay lang din kung gusto mong mag-mix and match ng mga teams for your YouTube channel. If you want to explore different contents for your YouTube channel, okay lang din naman yun. It's up to you. It's your choice. That's a good technique din for you to find out kung ano ba talaga yung mga contents that works best for your YouTube channel. So, tip number two is you set a storyboard. Ano nga ba ang storyboard? Ang storyboard is a guide sa kung ano ang mga mangyayari sa buong video mo. Ang storyboard is like a guide to the whole flow of your video. Storyboard is a guide wherein you visualize the whole content of your video. So, dito mo ini-imagine kung ano ang magiging kalalabasan ng buong video mo. So, bakit nga ba importante na magkaroon tayo ng storyboard sa mga contents na gagawin natin? So, meron tayong dalawang reasons kung bakit kailangan natin storyboard. Una, para mas maging smooth and concise yung flow na videos nyo. So, kailangan natin ng storyboard para malaman natin kung ano nga ba yung pagkakasunod-sunod ng mga pangyayari sa buong video mo. So, magiging malaking tulong ang storyboard para malaman natin kung ano nga ba yung mga bagay o mga pangyayari na gusto mong isali or lumabas sa video na i-upload mo sa susunod. So, kapag meron kasi tayong storyboard, hindi na natin kailangan pang isipin kung ano yung mga susunod na if film mo para sa video na yon kasi meron ka ng outline na pagsusundan at yung outline na yon nandun na lahat yung mga gusto mong mangyari sa buong video mo. Pangalawang reason kung bakit kailangan natin ng storyboard is para mas tipid sa oras ng pag edit at tipid na rin sa memory ng phone. Kapag meron na tayong naiset na storyboard, alam na natin yung magiging flow ng video natin. Hindi na tayo may hirapan pa sa pag film kasi alam mo na kung ano yung dapat mong isali sa video mo. Mas tipid din sa oras ng pag edit kasi hindi mo na kailangan kailangan mag-cut ng napakahabang video na wala namang kwenta. Hindi mo na rin kailangan mag-edit ng napakahabang oras kasi wala namang masyadong interruption sa videos mo kasi tuloy-tuloy lang siya. At syempre, tipid na rin sa memory kasi hindi ka mag-film ng paulit-ulit. So, kapag meron na tayong storyboard, for example, sa mga sit-down videos, hindi ka na mauutal, hindi mo na kailangan isipin kung ano yung susunod mong sasabihin, tuloy-tuloy ka lang sa pagsasalita. For example, yung sa skincare video ko, bago ko siya i-film, in-imagine ko muna or visualize ko muna kung ano magiging kalalabasan ng buong video na yun. So, Nag-decide muna ako kung morning routine lang ba yung isasama ko or isasama ko yung night routine, ganun. Parang visualize ko muna kung ano yung magiging buong content ng video na yun. I learned this storyboard technique from my mentor, Sir Echo. So, Sir Echo, thank you very much for sharing us this storyboard technique. Kasi sobrang naging malaking tulong siya sa mga contents and mga videos ko. So ngayon, sinare ko rin tong storyboard techniques sa inyo para alam niya rin. So, tip number three is to create videos that are 10 minutes or longer to increase your watch time. But make sure that the quality of your video is consistent. Don't create videos for the sake na paabutin lang siya ng 10 minutes or longer pero wala namang sense yung buong content ng video mo as time goes by. So, huwag tayong gagawa ng mga videos na ganun para hindi masayang yung oras natin. Lagi nating tatandaan na content quality is very important. Dapat laging consistent, dapat laging maganda yung content quality na i-upload nyo sa YouTube channel nyo para makapag-engage kayo ng maraming viewers. I suggest that you create 10 to 15 minute videos para pag na-monetize na yung channel nyo, mas maraming ads yung mailalagay sa videos nyo. Pero make sure, we should always create high quality content videos para yung mga viewers nyo, yung mga audience nyo, will watch your videos until the end. Sana all nagsistay until the end. Char! <laughs> 
So, tip number four is you use copyright free music. Feeling ko marami sa inyo ang hindi nakakalam neto. Pero when it comes to music, very sensitive si YouTube dyan. Kapag nag -e edit tayo ng mga videos natin, I suggest that you use copyright free music para kapag in-upload nyo na yung mga videos na yon sa YouTube channel nyo, hindi kayo magkakaroon ng copyright strikes from YouTube. Hindi naman natin gusto na magkaroon ng copyright claims yung videos nyo. Naglaan kayo ng napakahabang oras sa pag-film. Naglaan kayo ng napakahabang oras sa pag -e edit Tapos, gumamit kayo ng music na may copyright pala. Wala na. Finish na. So, ayun. Kapag in-upload sa YouTube, ayan, maka-copyright claim kayo from YouTube. So, ayun naman natin mangyari sa YouTube channel nyo yun. I really, really suggest na gumamit kayo ng copyright free music kasi very important yan when it comes to monetization. Kasi kapag nagkaroon kayo ng copyright claims from YouTube, hindi monetize yung channel nyo. Hindi natin gustong mangyari yun. Ito yung pinaka-importante sa lahat when it comes to growing or starting your YouTube channel. So, ako, gumagamit ako ng copyright free music and kinukuha ko yung mga copyright free music na yon sa YouTube lang din. Hindi naman natin gusto masayang yung mga effort nyo sa pag edit at sa pag-film tapos mga copyright lang yung videos nyo. So, gamit kayo ng copyright free music. Okay? So, tip number 5 is to have a consistent upload schedule that works best for your channel. So, hindi ko naman sinasabi na uploading videos on random dates and times is unnecessary and bawal. Pero if you want to grow your YouTube channel faster, you must have a consistent upload schedule that works for your channel. Kasi kapag meron kang upload schedule na sinusunod, mas magiging aware yung mga viewers or yung mga audience nyo kung kailan nila pwedeng i-expect yung next upload nyo. So, kapag meron kayong consistent upload schedule, Schedule, mas malaki yung chance na mas maraming views kasi aabangan talaga ng mga viewers mo yung next upload mo. For example, nag-upload ako tuwing Tuesday at 6pm. Kung consistent ka na nag upload tuwing Tuesday at 6pm, malalaman ng mga viewers mo or malalaman ng mga audience mo na ay meron bagong upload si Dara tuwing Tuesday at 6pm aabangan ko yan. So ganun, kapag alam ng mga audience mo na ganong schedule ka nag upload ng videos mo, aabangan at aabangan talaga nila yung next upload mo. So, mas malaki yung chance na manonood sila ng videos mo kapag in-upload mo na yun. So, in line with this, dapat at least alam din natin kung sino yung mga audience natin. At least alam din natin from what countries yung mga nanonood ng videos natin. In that way, malalaman natin yung best na time para i-upload yung videos mo. For example, yung audience nyo is mostly from the United States. Dapat nag upload ka ng videos in accordance doon sa time frame ng US para sigurado tayo na mapapanood nila yung videos nyo. So, dapat at least alam nyo kung saan ang gagaling most of your audience para alam nyo kung ano yung best na time para i-upload yung mga videos nyo. So, for example, sa akin, mostly yung mga viewers ko from the Philippines. So, ayun, nag-upload ako na videos every Tuesday at 6pm. Within the Filipino time frame lang ako nag-upload kasi most of my viewers are from the Philippines. <music> So, tip number six is be consistent about uploading videos or upload videos regularly. So, bakit nga ba natin kailangan mag-upload ng videos regularly? So, through uploading videos regularly, dito na pinopromote ni YouTube yung videos nyo on a wider audience. Very important na nag upload tayo ng videos natin on a regular basis to engage more audience. Kapag kasi nag upload tayo ng once a month, once a year, hindi talaga yan ipropromote ni YouTube on a wider audience kasi hindi ka consistent na nag upload ng videos mo. So, very important na mag-upload tayo lagi ng videos natin at least once a week or like kung gusto nyo twice a week, ganyan, para mas na-urge si YouTube na i-promote ka pa on a wider audience. So, tip number 7 is to find inspiration and jump into YouTube's algorithm. So, having an inspiration when it comes to creating contents is very important. So, kapag may inspiration ka, dito na nakakapag-explore yung utak natin into a wider range of ideas. When it comes to inspiration, we can look for inspiration everywhere. Kailangan lang natin maging observant sa paligid natin. And through that way, makakapag-isip tayo ng mga ideas na pwede natin magawa for our YouTube channel. With regards to jumping 
into YouTube's algorithm naman, what do I mean by this? Ito yung time na nagiging observant tayo sa YouTube world. So, at least dapat nanonotice natin yung mga recommended videos na YouTube. Dito rin dapat natin nakikita kung ano yung mga trending videos as of the moment. Para at least kapag alam na natin yung mga trending videos as of the moment, pwede tayong makisales sa mga trending videos na yun at pwede natin siyang i-remake or i-recreate. Isa rin yung magandang technique para magkaroon ka ng maraming viewers, para makapag-engage ka ng maraming viewers, you jump into YouTube's trending videos. So, tip number 8 is to engage with your audience. So, syempre, kapag meron ka ng YouTube channel, you are already starting to have a wider audience. So, engaging with your audience through considering their content requests, nagre-reply ka sa mga comments nila sa videos mo, and sina-shoutout mo sila. Those simple things, those little things, I promise, it means a lot to them. Communicating with your audience is a great technique to grow your YouTube channel. Through communicating with your audience, dun ka naging aware kung ano yung mga videos videos, kung ano yung mga contents na gusto ng mga viewers mong makita sa YouTube channel mo. So, another great technique to grow your YouTube channel is when you listen to your audience. So, listening to your audience is very important kasi dito natin may explore yung mga content ideas na pwede natin gawin for our YouTube channel. Also, dito natin magagawa yung character development sa ating YouTube channel kasi nakikinig tayo sa mga comments nila, nakikinig tayo sa mga thoughts nila about our our videos when we know how to listen and communicate with our audience. Ano na Dara? Kaya ba today? <laughs> when we know how to communicate and listen to our audience, it will be easy for us to know our strengths and weaknesses, our weaknesses to improve and our strengths to keep. In that way, mas magiging madali sa atin na improve yung kailangan pa nating improve and mag-excel sa mga susunod na videos na gagawin natin for our YouTube channels. So, always remember that character development or personality development is an unending process. Lagi tayong merong room for improvement. We can always improve ourselves. We can always excel. We just have to acknowledge the things that we have to improve on. Kaya, it is very important that we know how to listen, communicate, and understand our audience para na-improve din natin yung mga kailangan natin improve sa YouTube channel natin. So, tip number 9 is to share your YouTube channel to all your social media accounts to engage more viewers. So, very important talaga sa YouTube channel ang mga viewers or yung mga audience. Para mas makapag-engage ka pa ng mas maraming viewers, you share your YouTube channel on your social media accounts. Sa Facebook man yan, Twitter, Instagram, or any social media accounts that you have para mas maraming viewers ang makita na YouTube channel mo. Mas malaki yung chance na mas maraming viewers ang manonood ng videos mo kapag sinare mo yung YouTube channel mo sa social media accounts mo kasi mas maraming tao ang nakakakita like sa Facebook. Pag sinare mo yung YouTube channel mo sa Facebook, magiging aware sila na ay, you're into vlogging. Sa mga tao na hihiya na i-share yung YouTube channel nila sa social media accounts nila, I just wanna say na huwag kayong mahihiya na i-share yung YouTube channel nyo sa social media accounts nyo. Just do what you want to do. So, kung iniisip nyo na ay nakakaya naman i-share to, baka pagtawanan nila ako, ay ganito, ganyan. I just wanna say na, don't let your doubts bring your passion, your dreams down. Kung iniisip nyo na nakakahiya, just set that as an inspiration to do more. So, don't allow other people's toxic views overpower your judgment of what you are and what you are capable of. You don't need to live by others' judgment. Sa mga taong walang tiwala sa'yo, sa mga tao hindi naniniwala sa capability mo, prove them wrong, okay? So, tip number 10 is you keep going and believe in yourself. I know starting a YouTube channel requires a lot of effort and determination. Pero kapag determinado ka talagang ma-reach yung 1,000 subscribers and 4,000 watch hours, hindi magiging hindrance yan para ma-reach mo yung goal mo. Magtiwala ka lang sa sarili mo na kaya mo kasi kaya mo yan. Kung kaya ko, kaya mo rin. Kung nawawala ka ng pag-asa, just be reminded na sooner or later ma-achieve mo rin yung goal mo. Sa mga taong na down, sa mga taong na feel nila hindi nila kaya ma-reach yung 1,000 subscribers and 4,000 watch hours, please huwag kayong mawala ng pag-asa. I support you with that. Why stop now when you already started, Devas? When you feel down and uninspired, 
think of the reason why you started. Isipin mo kung bakit ka nga ba nagsimula. Isipin mo ulit kung ano yung goal mo. Sooner or later, hindi nyo namamalayan. Na-reach nyo na pala yung 4,000 watch hours and 1,000 subscribers. Or baka sobra-sobra pa, diba? So, believe in yourself. Keep going. Add the fighting. Sabi nga nila, diba? Little progress each day adds up to big results. I just wanna remind you guys that little progress is still a progress. Malit man yan or malaki, progress pa rin yan. So, it will always add up to big results sooner or later. So, I just wanna take this opportunity again na mag-shoutout sa mga tao na ipapashoutout sa akin. So, una, shoutout to Carmen Samson Kaagusan. Si Carmen, NMM body ko siya. NMM trainee din siya. So, alam ko si Carmen, gusto rin niya mag-start ng YouTube channel niya. Pero wala pa daw siyang phone. So, Carmen, kung mapapanood mo to, this is your sign. Mag-start ka na ng YouTube channel mo. I support you with that. Hi, Carmen. Shoutout sa'yo. And next, shoutout to Gerald Kagitla, my best friend. Hi, Zer. I'll see you soon. Sana makagala na talaga tayo. Hindi pa tayo nagkikita ulit. Sana paras kami ng papasukan na school ngayong school year. And lastly, gusto ko lang din i-shoutout ulit yung mga mananap friends ko. What's up, mananap? <laughs> so, shoutout ko ulit sila kasi hindi sila kompleto sa skincare vlog ko. Speaking of my skincare vlog, if you haven't watched my skincare vlog, I will link it sa description box below. If you have time, please do watch it. I would really appreciate it. So, as I was saying, uh, shout out to my mananap friends, si Mark Aspasio, Clifford Lorena, Anthony Suasin, my Anthony, <laughs> and Marian Kiban. Hi friends! Ang ping mo permedi ha, mula ag patasun, e eh magkita ratapuhan. Ang ping mo tanan kay Lisud kaayo ang COVID karon na panahuna. So, ang ping mo permi, e eh, mahal ko kayong lahat. So, that's it guys. I hope that you enjoyed this video. Sana may natutunan talaga kayo sa akin sa pag-start and pag-grow ng YouTube channel nyo. If you wanna start your YouTube channel, this is your sign. Mag-start na kayo. I support you with that. Thank you for coming this far sa video na to. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Heads up and stay safe. I'll see you on my next videos. Bye!